It's time to learn about the hidden science in our lives. Today's topic, thermal energy and heat transfer. What comes to mind when you think of energy? Perhaps electrical energy, kinetic energy, chemical energy, potential energy, or thermal energy. All of these are forms of energy. Among all of them, thermal energy is the type of energy we can easily observe in our daily lives. It is the most familiar type of energy, yet it is also difficult to explain. Today, we will take a brief look at what thermal energy is and what it can do. When we hear the word heat, the first thing that comes to mind is something that is either hot or cold. Temperature is the concept that describes whether an object is hot or cold. When an object is hot, the object is in more active molecular motion than when it is cold. In other words, the object can be said to have more thermal energy. Thermal energy moves from high temperature objects to low temperature objects, and this transfer of energy is called heat. There are three ways in which heat is transferred conduction, convection, and radiation. These terms may sound difficult, but most of us are already familiar with these three phenomena of heat transfer through our daily experiences. First, conduction refers to the transfer of energy from a solid material through collisions between nearby molecules. For example, when a ladle is placed in a pot of hot broth, the heat that you can feel even in the handle is the result of conduction. Convection, unlike conduction, is a method of heat transfer that occurs mainly in liquids and gases. Within fluids, molecules move freely to directly transfer heat energy. Cool air from the air conditioner is also an example of convection heat transfer. However, unlike conduction or convection, there is a way to transfer heat energy without using a medium for heat energy. Even in a vacuum, energy can be transferred through electromagnetic waves, which is radiative heat transfer. A prime example of radiative heat energy is solar energy that is transferred from outer space to the Earth. In our daily lives, heat and thermal energy are used in various engineering technologies. First, there are various technologies for utilizing thermal energy itself. For example, there is air conditioning, which is a necessity in hot summer. Air conditioners are home appliances that use refrigerants and compressors to transport heat energy from the inside to the outside. Conversely, in winter, there is a device called a heat pump that provides us with warmth by transporting heat energy from outdoor air or geothermal heat into the room. The heat pump is also used in industrial fields. In fact, the industrial heat pump can efficiently supply high temperature thermal energy required for various manufacturing processes, such as drying, heating, warming, distillation, and concentration. Another thing to know is that thermal energy is used for obtaining other types of energy that we need, such as electrical energy or kinetic energy. The steam turbine power generation, which uses the large thermal energy of high temperature and high pressure steam to turn turbines, is the oldest power generation method which is used to obtain electrical energy from power plants. Automobile engines and airplane jet engines are also processes that use thermal energy to obtain kinetic energy. These are just some of the examples of how thermal energy is widely used in various engineering technologies. Since thermal energy is closely related to other forms of energy, it is an essential concept in the conversion and use of energy. Specifically, thermal energy takes up more than 70% of our final form of energy consumption. So, developing technologies that utilize such thermal energies and finding ways to improve energy efficiency are the key steps toward carbon neutrality, which will decide our future. Carbon neutrality is the concept of reaching a zero value in net emissions of greenhouse gases from human activity. Achieving this goal is an essential global task in preventing the climate crisis, which is a result of modern conveniences and creating a sustainable future. 
The Department of Thermal Energy Solutions at the Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials is conducting extensive and in-depth research on thermal energy-related technologies closely linked to the realization of carbon neutrality. At Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials, the research team is developing an electrochemical heat pump that is expected to replace the traditional mechanical compressor, which uses an electrochemical compressor to heat and cool with ultra-high efficiency. The research team at Kim is also working to replace conventional refrigerants with more eco-friendly ones as they are essential elements of thermal energy systems. In addition, Research is being conducted on power-to-fuel technology that can reduce carbon emissions while also resolving imbalances in the production of new and renewable energies. That concludes today's discussion on heat and thermal energy, which are indispensable parts of our lives.